the states of matter. There are three main states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Solids. Why are all these solids? To understand what they have in common, we have to take a closer look at them. Let's zoom in and take a look at their particles. At a molecular level, they have a lot of things in common. The particles are packed close together. The particles are so close together, they can only vibrate. The particles have a strong attraction to each other. The particles can't be compressed. These four properties allow solids to have a definite volume and a definite shape. Liquids. Why are all these liquids? To understand what they have in common, we again have to take a closer look at them. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at their particles. At a molecular level, again, they have a lot of things in common. The particles in a liquid are loosely packed together. The particles in a liquid can slide past each other. The particles in a liquid are attracted to each other, but not as much as solids. The particles in a liquid can't be compressed. These four properties allow liquids to have a definite volume, but not a definite shape. Why are all these gases? To understand what they have in common, we again have to take a closer look at them. So let's zoom in one more time and take a look at their particles. At a molecular level, they have a lot of things in common. The particles in a gas are spread far apart. The particles in a gas move at fast speeds and collide into each other. The particles in a gas have a very weak attraction to each other. And the particles in a gas can be compressed. These four properties allow gases to not have a definite volume or shape. Let's look at a summary. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to Adventures in ISTEM for more videos.